my dear Taurus, this is a love reading for you where the person most on your mind will have their true thoughts and feelings revealed by me, Queen of Cups, Tarot. We will also look into what they would tell you if they had the guts or respect to tell you the truth with my new deck, the Brutally Honest Oracle Cards. Uh, and this will be a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. And for Taurus, this will be a reading about what the person most on your mind are feeling for you and where their thoughts are at when it comes to you. It can often be a conflict between head and heart and this will be re revealed here together with the most likely action they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. I will also reveal what they would tell you if they dared to tell you the truth to your face. And for a cross watcher, this reading will most likely be about where the tourist person's thoughts and feelings are at. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. And I usually read for the empath's side of the story. Also remember that the other person holds your shadow that you mirror out to the world so you can be able to see it. In the end, you need to use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this general reading for you. And I use the Anima Mundi uh, Tarot for the readings part. And I will start shuffling your cards. When I open your deck here, I see the Ace of Swords together with Eight of Pentacles. And it's uh, obviously in the reverse. Sorry, there's some... Uh, uh, hair there from my cat. Eight of cups in the reversed. Okay, so it seems like this person wants to come back and uh, I'm feeling they are themselves a little bit surprised by this. All their feathers are up in the air here and um, it was not really what they uh, was set out to do uh, to to kind of come back and negotiate with you. But um, they have seen some inner truth and this is what they, they found. Okay, so I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the hermit together with the eight of cups. Um, it shows that this person has been withdrawn into their own inner landscape and been uh, kind of brooding or figuring out what... Uh, uh, what is going on inside of them, why you are triggering them, them like this. Everything you say, you do, uh, is uh, kind of um, giving ripples inside of them. And um, it, it, it's very possible that they have put up some uh, a fight towards this and maybe you have even broken up because of uh, this. So... Uh, I call the four archangels and here we have the king of cups with the eight of cups. Uh, sometimes when we have these uncomfortable feelings being triggered inside of us, we kind of blame the other person and it's um, their fault. But here uh, I think they have made the realization that why they were triggered was because you were valuable to them. Uh, so uh, you were valuable to them and therefore... Uh, the idea of losing you made them feel very dramatic and that's why they acted in these uh, peculiar ways uh, towards you. Six elements, star card uh, and the eight of uh, cups which is the significator for this reading. Eight of cups is about uh, on and off again relationship. We, uh, we say bye bye uh, and later we start to miss the person and we want to come back and then we say bye bye and we want to come back and yeah it's the eight it's an eternity symbol for a karmic situation that hasn't really been uh, solved. And uh, we might feel trapped in a loop or in a destructive pattern. But the thing is, when we are faced with the same problem over and over again, and, um, in the end, we won't see it as such a big problem. And we have learned a lot of things. A lot of, we have gotten a lot of tools for how to deal with the situation. And we become a master at it. So that's the whole point with this. The star card, 17, 1 plus 7 is 8. Uh, 8 is connected to the strength card about being an adult, being very experienced, so we can act adult. We don't have to be triggered or dramatic. And the star card, it shows that you have um, uh, maybe a soul contract with this person where you have promised to go down together and, and, and work on these um, 
issues, karmic issues, but also karma, trauma, um, different situations uh, that you are not a master on just yet. Uh, so it's still a trigger uh, to you and them. Okay. So six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give, give us a clear view reading for my dear Taurus viewers. So I want my dear Taurus to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. So what we saw with the cards that made this acrobatic <laughs> is um, um, self-respect, that a person has been working on self-respect. And here we can also see that we are tearing down uh, all the old things, the things that doesn't work anymore. And also we let um, the things that's hidden underneath the surface come up to the surface to be processed so we can have a new beginning. And uh, this um, person here being very eager uh, to fulfill this uh, spiritual mission uh, to pull up all these things in the subconscious things uh, with our soul where we have karmic issues and traumatic issues that haven't been healed uh, just yet so take them up to the surface and have more and more healthy uh, new beginnings we can start anew with all the things that we have learned uh, and very enthusiastically with the knight of wands there okay um, so it seems like this person has learned a lot and have a lot of hope for, uh, for the future. They see what they did wrong in the past and they realize that they were not triggered be because you did mean things, but because they had uh, traumas and, um, and patterns that made them overreact to certain things. And now they have more hope to... Uh, behave better but also love and respect themselves better um, because um, let's say that your uh, person wants to go on a night on the town and you immediately see this as danger 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 and you become really dramatic about it and you say if you go uh, I know that you don't love me uh, so this is uh, traumatic, <laughs> not only for the person being a victim to it, but also for the person that displaying it. And the more we can love ourselves and be in our self-respect, the less we will behave like this in uh, childish, childish or obsessive ways. Okay, so I'm just going to tune in to you and um, your situation for a while. The person most on your mind and their the thoughts that they have about you and the relationship, their feelings uh, of love or other kind of feelings and the most likely action that they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. So uh, this is the most likely action that they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. And this is their feelings of love or other feelings that they have towards you. And this is their thoughts. So we have a six of pentacles here. So it's a very friendly card. Uh, so they want equalness. Maybe before with the eight of cups and the six of pentacles, they probably felt like they were giving a lot to the relationship and you didn't put in uh, enough effort. <laughs> okay. So, but that's their opinion. And this is your, you know, their feelings towards you. And we have a five of wands. So they realize that you have conflicting interests and this has made them feel uh, very abandoned and heartbroken, but they are trying to deal with this. They're trying to put up better boundaries around themselves and, and solve this on both a mental and an emotional uh, level, because it's very painful uh, this to be in opposition with other people and maybe trying to control them in different ways. You shouldn't feel like that. You shouldn't think like that. I feel threatened. Um, we can be threatened by other people's, uh, for example, political opinions. Or if they laugh at a certain point <laughs> when we think that this is evil and then you need to be an evil person and uh, I can't trust you. So it's a, easy for a human being to be triggered by another person. And this is the most likely action. And we have a four of wands, four of swords, knight of cups and ten of wands. Ace of cups. Okay, so I think um, uh, they want a relationship with you. 
but they are a little bit unsecure because they don't feel like they can trust themselves. They feel like a revolver that could go off at any point, just becoming very dramatic. And, and they are also, with the Six of Wands that we saw earlier, uh, they are trying to heal and they need to digest uh, their old traumas and dramas and karma so they can become better people. Four, four. So they are trying to work on becoming a more stable person, not so maybe crazy or overdramatic. Okay, uh, and this is uh, their thoughts. And we have the Hermit. Uh, together with the king of cups so they're working a lot on self-healing and when the person heals themselves they become like a, a goose <laughs> uh, you can pour a lot of water on a goose it will just uh, uh, fall off or it will just evaporate and um, if you are healed you have no wounds that can be touched nothing inside of you can react or overreact and the king of cups is the card of uh, healing a person that have healed themselves or are in the process to heal themselves so with a the hermit they have withdrawn inside themselves and are healing themselves so that they can become this goose that no matter what happens uh, they will still love themselves they won't be triggered because they don't have a wound that can be triggered like oh how could you do this to me uh, it's not going to happen if the person has no wound uh, they will feel like they will feel in control over themselves and they know that they can take good care of themselves and whatever you do it stands for you and they don't take it personally uh, here we see the high priestess uh, the high priestess talks about their uh, self-value to see themselves as a valuable person uh, worthy of love and uh, having um, also high boundaries not to uh, being codependent to other people and um, maybe obsessive of them i love myself i have uh, my own inner peace and uh, whoever is invited to my life is not someone that are allowed to disturb that uh, in a peace or act in selfish or illoyal ways towards me and this is um, uh, this is a good way to heal uh, to start to put boundaries like this and 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 um, start to value yourself uh, in a beautiful way and we have messages here and that means that when the person is uh, healing from their wounds uh, these wounds also become pages in their book of wisdom that's why you are supposed to be traumatized and go through a lot of challenges and create karma for yourself so you will have new pages to your soul's book of wisdom so it's not an evil game it's uh, the soul's uh, uh, curious longing to express uh, to um, um, to um, find themselves and to explore this universe and uh, to learn as much as there is to learn before this universe goes back to sleep again and here we have the two of wands two high priestess two of wands uh, together with 20 judgments so this is actually a two 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 so this person is working a lot with uh, finding out what's right and what's wrong uh, when we get triggered and we know that we are over dramatic and easily get triggered uh, we we both feel upset by the person that triggered us and we also get upset uh, on ourselves that got triggered why do i feel like this can't i just let it go let them do whatever they age they want i can take care of myself uh, but um, um the reality is that we get very triggered so this person is trying to find out what's right what's wrong from an above perspective are this person allowed to go out and uh, party all night with their friends maybe not coming home to the next afternoon and i don't know if they slept with someone else are they allowed to do that or are they not allowed to do that and this is something that every person needs to decide for themselves and it makes up their moral value uh, their their um, uh, <laughs> kind of uh, um, the inner laws if you would want to say this universal laws but this person is trying to find out what's right what's wrong and when they think people are behaving wrongly uh, they will judge this and decide for themselves what to do with this if a person is illoyal and gossip about me uh, with the other friends what am I supposed to do so one person might decide i will never speak to that person again and it shows that this person has a wound another person might feel like oh i need to immediately call up that person and uh, and sort this out and find out 
what it is that they are really thinking uh, and they're not taking it personal they're not becoming triggered uh, they just want to sort it out and it can be different uh, variation but it's all about uh, keeping the world a little bit on an arm's length distant and trying to find out uh, what is it that uh, that is the right thing for me to do what's my values uh, and what uh, can I allow other people to do uh, towards me or in my uh, in my surrounding and um, and um, uh, this is like a court uh, judgment and and this is about people uh, keeping authority in that court and uh, putting rules so that they're, they're putting up rules for themselves and for others how they are allowed to behave in relationships how you are allowed to uh, to behave towards them um, so they're trying to make up this rule book for themselves it doesn't have to be cemented rules it's changed as we learn new things but they are learning self-respect and to um, actually being able to put a boundary and stick to that and not become codependent and yield and say, ah, oh, you don't have to be loyal towards me. Uh, I will follow you like a puppy anyway. So they're, they're trying to outgrow that kind of behavior because when humans become puppies like this, they usually become aggressive puppies. <laughs> you shouldn't have left me. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done this. So it's not a puppy that just... Uh, uh, unconditionally accept and follows wherever this uh, uh, this person of our affection goes it, it's more a yappy puppy that have a lot of opinions about it and victimize themselves but still hangs on or follows around and here we have the sun card so sun card when it comes to emotions is the highest card for love and it can indicate soulmates but also uh, that the person have seen the truth in some way and we have the queen of cups so when the king of cups and the queen of cups comes in the reading so underneath it all their projections their drama and them trying to sort out right from wrong and um, they love you deeply okay and um, king they, you are the king or queen of their hearts and, and they love you with all their hearts but then we have the five of swords so in this business we're trying to uh, maybe not repeat for example childhood trauma where someone abandoned them or was disloyal and um, they are making you the enemy here um, maybe because you have done something similar or just because they fear you will do something similar and then we have the magician and the strength card uh, so I'm thinking they are too much in this process right now to show you any real love even if they feel it uh, they are too much in this process, individual, individualization process uh, to, to determine where they end and another person begins and what, um, what are their moral values and um, um, how they want other people to treat them and how they want to treat other people. So they're too preoccupied with this to be uh, particularly grown up or have a forgiving heart or, or anything like that so uh, there will probably be a distance between you even if they love you because um, they need this time to um, find their own ways and become very strong in themselves it's a part of their healing process and at this point they need to make you the enemy to protect themselves and later on when they have healed they will forgive and they will be the bigger person but we haven't come to that just yet so we have five of wands five of swords um, so they probably feel like they love you but maybe they feel like you don't deserve it because you haven't treated them in accordingly with their moral values which can be a little bit skewed like they can be um, uh, thinking that people should behave in a certain way uh, and they are not allowed to hurt uh, other people in any kind of way for example you are not allowed to leave this place because then I get abandoned so it's a little bit like a control freak um, a magician here um, it's um, showing that this person tries to find their way in the world and they're trying to be very strong and protect themselves with this uh, maybe judgmental moral values a little bit and making you then the problem so that's on their emotional level they feel they love you 
uh, to the moon and back, but you are a big problem because you don't share their moral values or you don't see things in the same way. And this is, um, I have heard about these people that need uh, trigger warnings. <laughs> it's very funny. Um, people that can't take when someone says, uh, jokes offensively or do something else offensively. They got, get so triggered. This is this type of uh, person. Um, they, they need the world to treat them with cotton gloves. Uh, and there's a, lo a long, long list what people should and shouldn't do. And um, it's really childish. And uh, it's not, it, it doesn't show any traces of a person being healed. But this person is just in a process. And eventually they will come to this place where they have healed themselves. And they realize it's not uh, other people's job to not trigger me. It's my job to make problems small and myself big by self-love self-support having my own back so even if these people don't doesn't behave in the way i want i still behave in the way i want and i'm getting very secure with that and i don't have to control the world to be able to live in it uh, but right now they want to control the world <laughs> and you and how you should behave and all these kind of things and this is the most likely action and we have the eight of coins so they really feel the longing and the need to build something uh, together with you but of course accordingly possibly with their rules <laughs> that you need to follow their moral codex uh, but they want to have a bridge between you two but this bridge can be a little bit like a chain for you that they build this bridge and um, then you have to behave in certain ways to make them feel happy or so they don't they won't become dramatic or impossible or behave in, in bad ways and uh, that's not going to work because that's not uh, that's not love uh, that is something else it's um, maybe um, uh, i don't know <laughs> some kind of police state <laughs> or um, something like this ten of swords so uh, they're going to gruesomely awake to the reality and realize that they can't uh, um, they can't control the the people that they love and then we have the fool here uh, zero one two so we're counting up to something the person um, are supposed to grow up but it's a little bit like they're growing down instead and becoming more and more maybe reactive and prideful and they lean towards their moral laws much like a really really religious person would lean against the bible and it's um it's like a blanket that babies have to comfort themselves and this is how this person is using this as well uh, so it's a little bit naive but it doesn't mean that the person is evil they just want to they're trying to install systems to protect themselves in this world um, here we have a nine of pentacles, so that's good news. And justice is mm, semi-good news. Uh, <laughs> this person is uh, going through this individualization process. Um, hermit, nine of pentacles, this belongs to the hermit card. Uh, it's a person creating their own garden, taking good care of themselves inside that garden. Much like the high priestess, she lives in a temple and she only lets... Uh, her true friends into her paradise garden. So this is a good thing. Uh, but then we have the 11. Uh, so 11, 1 plus 1, 2, 2, 2, 2. We have a lot of 2s here. Uh, so this person still has this moral crutch, uh, which they are leaning towards, and they think that their, their moral rules should be everyone's moral rules. Uh, and they think you have a lot to um, say you're sorry for. You probably aren't. <laughs> it's uh, uh, very likely that they get very easily offend offended just by you being yourself and, um, you know, having your natural freedom in a relationship. You don't have to call them all the time. Um, sometimes you get a cold so you can't show up when you promise to show up and you call them and say I can't come and they get really really angry with you. Um, it can be that um, uh, you say something like your opinion and it's not their opinion and they got super excited and very dramatic and upset with you. Um, so these are the kind of it's a little bit pettiness. Uh, is what I'm feeling here but this is all major arcana card and it shows that this person needs to go through this process having this strong judgment and uh, protect themselves and be like 
if you don't do this, I will never forgive you. And they will reap what they sow. It will probably not be uh, what they want because people don't have to live up to their rules or regulations or moral values. They do what they want and we need to love them for who they are. It's like live and let live. Of course, there's certain things... Um, there's a freedom to, to life, but uh, you're not supposed to uh, mess up someone else's life or leave your crap in front of them or steal their stuff or abuse them or uh, mistreat them in, in any way, like abusive or gaslighting or uh, beating up another person or killing them. Or, there's a lot of a long list, but this is not it. Uh, it's more... Um, these things what you should have done you should be like this you should act like this you should behave like this so they have this long list and no one can live up to the their expectations and uh, frankly you probably don't even want to live up to this expectation life would be very boring and you wouldn't have any freedom left so this person needs to face this um, themselves and have the consequences of re, uh, being this rigid and, and, and trying to make other people dance off the day their pipe. Why they are acting like this is they don't feel good enough or they don't love themselves enough and they need you to treat them with silk gloves so they will feel a little bit better but they need to be faced with reality and face their wounds so they can heal it. Uh, I'm walking through the dark night of my soul. Well, um, I can't see that they are doing that just yet, but uh, they're probably on their way with this um, uh, very rigid behavior. Uh, they will be faced with the consequences, for example, people not wanting to be with them anymore or um, giving up on the drama and um, uh, other things. It was important for me to be the provider. I think this means that it was important for them to be the one that were right in the relationship that they had the right opinions that you should bend to. They had the right ideas for what you should do or how you should solve this certain problem. Uh, they had the right mo moral value that you should bend to and so on and so forth. And this is, of course, control issues that this person have. Uh, for me, money is important. Uh, money is another way. It's a sub fear of survival when we're holding on very tightly. Uh, to money and it shows that a person needs to be very secure so for example money it can be money we have a lot of money cards here uh, and um, uh, maybe it was very <laughs> crucial for them that you paid equal for the food or uh, it can be things like this but it can show itself in different ways it can also be that um, the person wants to own things they want to own you they want to own your time they want to uh, own your loyalty they want to there's a lot of things that they want to save for later uh, like a little squirrel so they're probably being very nice towards you and expect that you should be equally nice towards them and if you're doing something wrong it's like you owe them uh, because they did the, all these things for you and what did you do for them nothing um, so uh, it has to do with um, this person's sense of security and it comes from again these rules and if they can control the assets uh, you or the house or your the friend you have in common or whatever they will try to do so so I will see with what they would want to say to you here sacred union honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred and my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Uh, so as we saw before, this person truly loves you. But with this love, it also seems like they would want to possess you, both your mind, your heart, your time, uh, a little bit your, your everything. And I don't think you will agree to this. It would be, um, it, it's like being a slave to someone. So I will see advice for you and we have peace. Uh, there's a lot of cards in this deck, but I think I have had peace for <laughs> maybe half of the uh, signs. <laughs> so calm your thoughts and move your awareness to a peaceful space inside your heart. So if this person is very dramatic, you know, be peaceful. Say this too will pass or 
Um, this is this person's personal opinion. It's very little to do with me. Uh, feel the ebb and flow of love, the eternal movement of the stars. Your life is forever unfolding to greater spheres of love. Relax and do not worry about anything, for all is well. So even if this little dog is yapping, uh, you know, around your feet, you're just, okay, all is well. You will soon enter a time of well-earned peace and tranquility. <laughs> I'm laughing because I saw you kind of closing the door for this person and then it became peaceful. <laughs> so uh, that was funny. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and uh, we will see here with your relationship what the divine wants to like the judge about that they say separation and we have a ten of swords here and i'm thinking it's because this person's immaturity and their their need to go through this process of becoming uh, standing on their own side being really rigid like all the way into the brick wall um, and uh, say never know more and uh, I should never return or give a lot of ultimatums and you just keep your peace here and say oh okay you do as you want you can have if you uh, if you don't um, if you can't accept my freedom and you put this ultimatum I can't uh, compromise with you I'm sorry um, my life is too important uh, so you keep your peace and you let them jump like this little angry dog here and then they will put their ultimatum and they will uh, judge you as someone that can't be in their paradise and that will lead to uh, separation and in this separation this person will go their their road their spiritual road uh, and they will try different things out and they will learn and maybe eventually they will realize this what they told you that um this relationship is truly sacred and it doesn't matter uh, who you are or if you don't come home in time for dinner or whatever it is the problem uh, they still love you so it's about the process of forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments because this person can't invite love in at this point it will only see uh, the lover as an enemy uh, because of um, the things that they can take away from them you can take away your loyalty you can take away your time you can take away your love so that makes you into the enemy the one that's dangerous so first when this person has healed they can become uh, more tranquil and and more um, a person that could actually be in a relationship and um, stay a little bit cool and and try to not own the other person or dictate everything that they should do and you can wonder oh maybe this is me i'm doing this but it's possible uh, but it can also be that the other person projects things onto you so uh, we can have people acting very covert and manipulate <laughs> in ways that's very they are manipulating you and um, uh, for example they can say they can do things that hurt you so that you will feel very triggered and become very dramatic so uh, remember this to stay in peace and and not um, be upset with this don't be dragged into this uh, um, this uh, drama here uh, i draw uh, two other cards we have finances and career and very soon uh, again with this finances so um, it might be that this person would want to show themselves successful so you will see what you have missed um, and um, they might put posts on I don't know uh, social media for example uh, and um, show what kind of um, success they have had and what you are missing out on uh, because they hope that this will lure you back so you will agree to their uh, ultimatum and want to be with them again is what I'm feeling uh, it's up to you if you want to go with that <laughs> or not uh, you decide but what I see here is um, that this person uh, loves you uh, they are a little bit immature so they have a lot to learn it's probably very hard to have a adult relationship with them at this point but um, I have hope for the future that this person 
uh, will grow, but it might take a couple of lifetimes. So I wouldn't stick around just waiting for them. If you love uh, to have uh, children, of course, you can have a relationship with this person, but it would be like having a relationship to another child. So having this person as a parent to your children would mean that you have not only your children, you also have this person acting uh, a little bit uh, like a child. And it's not that this person is evil. It's just that this is what they need to learn. They might be the wisest person on earth in many other uh, areas. We can see this with here. They probably have a very keen sense of moral and um, a, a good judgment and are very intelligent, for example. But on an emotional level, uh, they a little bit crash and burn and they think that um, their rules should apply to everyone, but it's not because people have their freedom and doesn't have to be dancing off the, the another person's pipe. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. I'm now doing personal and spiritual growth readings for the members to my channel. So if you're interested in your personal and spiritual growth, you can join as a member. I'm also doing personal readings for the full members to my channel. So subscribe and check this out to the join button that will be visible after you have subscribed. You can also, also follow the link in the description box to learn more. So until next time, take really good care and bye bye.